Hi guys, uh, Sahai here. Today we are gonna do an unboxing video of Zhiyun Smooth Q2 handheld smartphone gimbal. Uh, I have picked this up from Best Buy for $119. It's on sale right now and I think it's at the same price at Amazon. Uh, and I also picked up a FlexPod DX tabletop tripod for the same because I think this uh, Zhiyun Smooth Q2 does not come with a tabletop tripod uh, as they say that the base is pretty flat you can stand the gimbal on its own but I just want more stability and a flexibility of a tripod so I ended up buying a FlexPod DX tripod which costed me around $14 uh, it's a pretty sweet deal. Uh, just to give you a little bit of background, prior to Smooth Q2, I bought a Zoom Smooth 4 uh, uh, last year and I'm, I used it for almost a year. Uh, uh, my main phones were, uh, which I used on Zoom Smooth 4, were Note 8, uh, Samsung Note 8, then I switched to Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and then I used uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 10 which is my current phone right now uh, my overall experience with Zhiyun Smooth 4 uh, was a mixed bag because uh, I think just because uh, by the time I bought the Smooth 4 the firmware was not updated for uh, S10 Plus as well as for Note 10 Plus so uh, uh, it had a couple of connectivity issues like in the middle of my shooting or the video making sometimes the connection will drop and then the gimbal will lose its connection and I'd have to redo the things uh, I picked up smooth 4 just because it, it's, it is one of the most powerful uh, gimbal in the market with a lot of controls uh, on it that was the main feature which attracted me to buy it came with this tripod uh, uh, I think they have made this uh, a, a smooth four with, uh, for and it works really well with the iPhones. But it is it is and my experience has been okay with Samsung Note 10 Plus and S10 Plus on it. So I wanted to try a new one. So I bought a smooth Q2. I think it's it's not fair to compare both of them uh, at the same time because they are a little different than each other. The smooth four provides you more features, more control. Everything is 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 on on the base itself and the Q2 has simple controls and uh, uh, the major difference between both of them is I think is the smooth Q2 has uh, a, a power to give you uh, uh, control over your stock camera on your phone and then smooth 4 uses uh, you have to use a Zune play app or for videos I used to use filmic pro Another thing which I noticed uh, while using Filmic Pro and Zoom Play app is that if you switch between those apps while shooting or uh, like if I'm shooting from Zoom Play app and if I switch to the, from close that out and switch to uh, Filmic Pro it will not connect so I have to close all the apps and then restart the connection that was one of the frustrating points about uh, Smooth 4 which I had. So let's go and open up this uh, Smooth Q2 package and see what all we have inside. side so this is the box it's pretty small I think the base of the smooth 4 is as big as the overall packing of the smooth Q2 I think I'm gonna love this one because just because uh, of the portability uh, on the back it has some instructions uh, on the side it tells you what all options uh, it provides you about the joystick power button and etc so let's open up Let's open, let's keep it there. I have a tape here. The box is a little tight. So um, here is it. Uh, the box is pretty sweetly packed, as it comes up comes with the uh, some instructions manuals, uh, uh, like a a quick guide to start up your smooth uh, Q2. 
the gimbal uh, I think the cables take this out so look at the size uh, side by side I'm pretty excited uh, looking forward to use uh, this gimbal it's it's amazingly small and compact uh, what else we got all we have so I think we have We have some cables, I guess, for the charging of gimbal and connecting it to your phone. So there is a strap, which is pretty nice to have it. Uh, like USB to USB-C type of cable. The box is empty. And it comes with a, the clip for the phone. So this is one of the exciting features about the Q2 is that you can connect your phone with the clip and if you are uh, getting a call or you just want to do something you can just uh, quickly release uh, this clip and uh, take the phone and again when you are done with your phone you can again uh, clip, it, clip it back and uh, you'll be good to you'll be good to go. So I think that's the way it goes and then you'll lock it. So this is uh, the Zoom Smooth Q2 and this is Zoom Smooth uh, 4 uh, in front of you. Uh, I will just power it up and pair it with my phone and see how it goes. So it's a cool mechanism for your uh, phone to attach, uh, you just pull it and attach it, that's about it and that's that's with the phone size, I'm just using my old uh, Note 4 just to showcase because I am currently recording with my Note 10 Plus. Uh, by the end of the video I will add, I will use this gimbal and I will make some videos and I will attach it uh, with the current video. Uh, the finish looks pretty premium, it has a, a like kind of a smooth uh, rubbery feel with a solid metal case uh, feelings it looks pretty premium and pretty handy uh, I think it is as good as the size of the phone itself uh, it has a joystick a power button uh, to start up and then you have uh, total five modes I guess the four modes are up front marked with the LEDs uh, pan follow lock follow and the point of view and then if you double tap triple tap the power button will go into the new vertigo mode uh, which is pretty cool. So uh, that's about it. Uh, please let me know your comments. How do you like? I will add some videos and I will add some more future review videos uh, of, of this gimbal. Thanks a lot.